So today let's go through Pythagoras theorem. So what do we know about Pythagoras? Pythagoras, okay? It only ever happens in a right angle triangle, okay? So it doesn't happen in any other triangles, just right angle ones, okay? And the set th second thing you need to know is only for working out sides, only for working out a missing side. So if there's other angles involved, then it won't be Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so only for working out a missing side. So say we have our right angle triangle here. Now, the formula for Pythagoras theorem, everybody knows, is a squared plus b squared is c squared. But how do we put that into use? Okay, now the side opposite my right angle is going to be called my hypotenuse. Now the hypotenuse is always, always, always going to be c. So the diagonal side, the hypotenuse, the side opposite my right angle is always, always going to be C. Now the other two sides can be A or B, B or A, it doesn't really matter, as long as your hypotenuse is going to be C. Now, for example, let's say we have a triangle and this is three centimeters, this is four centimeters, and this is X. And we need to find the value of X. So let's write down a squared plus b squared equals c squared. If you already know the formula, make sure you still write it down in your exam just so you get at least one mark, okay? Now, let's label our triangle. The side opposite my right angle would be c, and these two would be a and b. So in this case, a is three, so three squared plus, in this case, b is four, plus four squared would be equal to c squared. So, 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. So we have 9 plus 16 is equal to c squared. 9 plus 16 gives me 25. So 25 is equal to c squared. Now remember, we're working out the value of c, not c squared. So I need to square root both sides. If I square root 25, I get 5. So c will be equal to 5 centimeters. So the value of x here, the hypotenuse would be five centimeters. Okay, let's do another example. Say I have five centimeters here, and I have 13 centimeters here, and I have x here. Now, this side is my hypotenuse, so it's going to be my c, this will be my a, and this will be my b. Now, I'll write down a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Now in this case, I'm working out my B, I'm not working out my C. So I want to make B the subject of my formula. So I'm going to take away A squared on both sides. And I'm left with C squared is equal to, I'm left with B squared is equal to C squared take away A squared. Okay, now I'm going to fill in what I know. C squared is going to be 13 squared, 13 squared, and A squared is going to be 5 squared, so 13 squared take away 5 squared. 13 squared is 169, and 5 squared is 25, so 169 take away 25 will give me b squared. 169 take away 25 is equal to 144, so b squared is equal to 144. Now, I'm not working out the value of b squared, I want to work out the value of b. So to work out b, I need to square root both sides, so I square root 144. Square root of 144 is 12, so b is equal to 12 centimetres x will equal to 12 centimeters in this triangle. So what do we know? Our main formula is a squared plus b squared is equal c squared. But if I'm working out b squared, I can do c squared take away a squared. If I'm working out a squared, I can do c squared take away b squared. So always make sure you write down your main formula in a question. So even if you get the question wrong, you will still get marks for knowing the formula, okay? So this is Pythagoras theorem. The side opposite my right angle will be called my hypotenuse, which is C. The other two will be A or B. We write down A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We figure out whether we're working out A, B or C. We substitute to work to, and we fill in our formula. We put it into our calculator or we figure it out and we square root our answer to find out the length of the missing side. Okay. okay, let's go through some Pythagoras theorem examples. So this will be my C because it's my hypotenuse. This will be my A and this will be my B. So I'll write down A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. In this case, I'm working out A since that's my X value. So I'm going to minus B squared on both sides. So C squared, so A squared is equal to C squared minus 
b squared. So let's fill it in. a squared will be equal to 17.55 squared minus my b, which is 6.75 squared. So I'm going to put this in my calculator. How do I put it in my calculator? I do 17.55 squared take away 6.75 squared. Now to click, if my answer is a fraction, I click SD, okay, to work out my answer as a decimal, and I get 262.44. So A squared is equal to 262.44. Now I'm not working out A squared, I'm working out A. So I need to square root 262.44. So in my calculator, I'll click square root of 262.44, and I to get my answer as a decimal, I click this button and I get 16.2. So A is equal to 16.2 centimeters. Okay, let's do another question. So here I've got my C, here I've got my A, here I've got my B. So A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. In this question here, I'm working out my B. So I'm minus A squared from both sides. B squared is equal to C squared take away A squared. Let's fill it in. My C is 14, so 14 squared take away 6 squared. So I do 14 squared take away 6 squared, and I get 160. So B squared is equal to 160. Remember, I'm working out B, not B squared, so I square root 160. So I do the square root of 160, and I get 12.6 to one decimal place. So B is equal to 12.6 to one decimal place centimeters. Okay, let's practice some more. Now here I've got 4.2 and I've got 5.6. This is going to be my C. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So this is my A, this is my B. 4.2 squared plus 5.6 squared is equal to C squared. So I'm going to write down 4.2 squared plus 5.6 squared is equal to 49. So C squared is equal to 49. Now I'm working out the value of C, so I need to square root the 49. The square root of 49 is seven, so C is equal to seven centimeters. All right, this one, I've got 4.8, I've got A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. X will be my C because it's my hypotenuse. This will be my A and this will be my B. <clears throat> Let's fill in the missing values. A squared will be 4.8 squared and B squared will be 3.6 squared. I put that into my calculator. I do 3.6 squared plus 4.8 squared and I get 36. So C squared is equal to 36, but since I'm working out the value of C, I need to square it both sides. The square root of 36 is 6, so C is equal to 6 centimeters. That's how to use Pythagoras theorem in examples. Okay. Now this is an exam style question for Pythagoras theorem, so I need to work out the value of x. So to work out the value of x, I need to know this missing side here, but I don't know it, so I'm going to use these two to work out this side here. I'm going to label this side B. Okay. Now in this triangle here, which is a right angle, this side would be C, this would be my A, and that would be my B. So I'm going to write down A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. And since I'm working out B in this question here, I'm going to minus A squared on both sides. I'm left with B squared is equal to C squared minus A squared. So B squared is equal to C is 19, so 19 squared. A is 14, so minus 14 squared. I'm going to put that in my calculator. B is equal to 19 squared take away 14 squared and I get 165. So B squared is equal to 165. Now if I wanted to work out the value of B, I would do the square root of 165. Okay, so I'm just going to write down the value of B is equal to the square root of 165. Okay, because if I put it in my calculator, I could easily get 12.84523, but I don't want to use that as part of my next question. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it as the square root of 165. Now, next part. In this question, this would be my A, this would be my B, and this would be my C. So I'm going to write down A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. My A is 10, so 10 squared. My B is square root of 165, so the square root of 165 squared. Now, the square root and a square, they cancel out because they're opposite. 
Okay, so remember b squared is equal to 165. In this case, I can just replace b squared with 165. Okay, and this will be equal to c squared. Now 10 squared is 100, and b squared is 165 is equal to c squared. 100 plus 165 is 265 which will be equal to c squared. Now remember I'm working out the value of c, not c squared, so I'm going to square root 265. So I'm going to do the square root of 265, and I get 16.27. Now I want it to one decimal place, the number after the first decimal place is bigger than five, so it's going to round up to be 16.3. So my c will be equal to 16.3 centimeters to one decimal place. And that's how to put an exam style question on Pythagoras theorem into practice. So let's do another example. So say I have a triangle here. This is 9.5 centimeters. This is X. And this here is going to be another triangle. I've got four centimeters and I've got seven centimeters. So I'm going to label this Y and I'm going to work out the value of Y. So, to work out the value of x, I need to work out the value of y first. So, in this first triangle, I'm going to write down a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. a is this, b is this, and c would be the y. So, we've got 7 squared plus 4 squared is equal to c squared. So, I've got 7 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 65. So, 65 is equal to c squared. Now, c would be equal to the square root of 65. Okay, so I'm just going to write down the value of y here is square root of 65. Now in my second triangle, this would be my a, this would be my b, that would be my c. So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Since in my first triangle I'm work in my second triangle I'm working out a, I'm going to take away b squared on both sides. I'm left with a squared is equal to c squared take away b squared. A squared will be equal to 9.5 squared take away. Now remember, this, the b is equal to square root of 65, and b squared is equal to 65. So it will be minus 65. So 9.5 squared minus 65. Okay, so I'm going to put that in my calculator. 9.5 squared minus 65. And I get 25.25. So my a squared is equal to 25.25. Now I'm working out the value of a, not a squared, so I'm going to square square root 25.25 so I'm going to square root my answer and I should get 5.02 so my a is equal to 5.02 centimeters to two decimal places okay that's how to use Pythagoras theorem in an exam style question